Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's finally time for another episode of City Skylines in our 2021 series. The past few weeks I really wish I could game more and spend more time on the channel, it's just not possible. I don't want to make excuses, just know that I spend literally every free minute I get for myself on these videos and on the channel in general. There will be better times again when I can provide you with more content. In the meantime, I'm thinking about making shorter episodes so I can release these more than once a week and then soon enough we can expect better times again where I'll have the capacity to take care of everything. Anyways, in the previous episode we took care of this new industry district. This is already giving us a plenty of money. As a matter of fact, let's check it out. It's already level 5, giving us around 10k. However, this can be much much higher and you gave me a couple of tips I wasn't aware of yet. For instance, if we have more storages, we can also send more to these storages and sending them to the storages is gonna get rid of this not enough buyers for products error. So petroleum cannot only be exported or sold to industries but also to warehouses. Obviously, once you have the warehouses full, you still have to manage and balance the supply and demand a little bit. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a buffer that is filling up. The idea for this episode is that we start establishing the district where we're gonna have all of our unique factories. One important thing for this area I noticed is a train station. I would like to have all of the cargo actually coming in using trains for this particular area. Now one easy solution could be to just expand the rail into this direction. We're gonna make a train station here and start establishing the district. We're gonna need a lot of space. These factories are actually really huge. Maybe let's have a look at one. Uh, where are they? Unique factories. We could, for instance, start with a furniture factory. This one is really small. Household plastic factory is also something we can do, uh, now that we have tapped into oil. The toy factory is something we have all products for. Printing press. We cannot do the petroleum refinery just yet. We are missing the ore industry for that, I believe. And then the soft paper factory we cannot do either because we're missing the agriculture. We cannot do sneaker factory and the modular house factory. Oh yeah, there's actually lots of stuff still to do. We have to take care of the other two industries, but we can get the district started with four unique factories, which is not a bad thing. So let me think about this rail. In general, I'm probably gonna keep it like that. However, this curve is not necessarily what I want. I would like for it to move with the highway. But then I also would like this to be more of a dead end with enough buffer. Yeah, let's just get started. I mean, we can replace and rearrange everything to our liking for now. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, this also means I would like the highway to be raised for longer. So instead of actually going down here, we're just going to keep it raised and maybe go straight. Then again, I wanted to change something about that. On the other side, the traffic is now working well. Yeah, but still, eventually I have to change this. The exits do look a little bit weird. So what I'm gonna do, instead of changing everything now, I'm just gonna lead the train upwards, go above the highway, and then we're gonna get started with this part right here. This one we can make permanent somehow. And then once we know more about the dimensions of the unique factories, we know where to lead the highway to. So let's say this is gonna be all our buffer, and then all the way back here, I would like to see the train station. How do I want to make this look? I mean, it would be nice to actually get this more or less Less straight. Maybe we're gonna start with the roads first. We're also gonna use small industry roads and we're just gonna start with a grid with the train station towards the highway. So uh, can I get a line here? Mm, yes, okay. We're gonna get started here, expand this a little bit and I would like to have like two parallel roads but only pedestrians will be able to cross it. <sighs> Actually we need a park or something in between. This is way too close to the residential area. So instead we're gonna go over here and start building the unique factory in this place. For the first factory, the furniture factory, we only need products out of the burning forestry industry. We still have a situation going on here that is unacceptable with the cargo station. So this is also temporary. Actually you guys are all complaining about the buyers thing. So we do need warehouses, that's for sure. Now, are we going to export everything to the train stations, then bring them over here? Or are they gonna use the highway? I mean, they eventually have both possibilities. 
you know, I was just thinking it might be wiser to put that closer to the forestry industry since that's the only industry we need for this factory. But then again, I would like this to be one unique factory area. So we're going to get started with that. As for the cargo station, I would like it to be right around here. So we can add a little something here. This could actually be a one-way road. Let's say all the vehicles move away from most of the factories. Then they take a little detour, do something like that, move along a one-way road. We then set up the cargo station right here. And with this road, uh, we want to get back into the industry somewhere near this. Now, if we're lucky, we can connect this as well. Uh, it's not perfectly straight, but it's good enough. Let's now see what we can do with the rails. We just move over here along the highway. Looks like we can actually do it in more or less a convenient way. In this case, I'm gonna remove this again and we are also gonna sweep this up here. The rail would then be connecting like so and go beneath the highway. Looks like this needs a little bit of fixing and then we go back. Ah, come on. Okay, like this, it's actually not too shabby. We just have to make sure this little part here is connected too. Um, let's bring this up there somewhere. Come on gonna stretch the ramp a little bit so it looks nicer but like this it's gonna work we have a buffer for the trains to come in and they can also get out into the system obviously we still need a connection for the exports and i guess for now i don't have much space because we haven't purchased the tile over there yet but let me see yeah this is good and this is a good connection too this is not what i want in the future but now we have access to this area using the trains. We already have one factory. Let's set up another one. I might rearrange the factories a little bit later on. And then we also need a place for the warehouses. Household plastics is something we can do. I'm just gonna set all the factories up next to each other. But once again, this is not what I really want. I first want to know the dimensions. Toy factory is the next one we can place. And a printing press we can place too. And I believe that was everything we had access to. Yeah, for the other stuff, we need the other industries. Of course, we could also import the materials, but that's not what I want to do. Last but not least, I'm going to need meaningful connections to the outside world. I think one of them can be here somewhere. Yeah, let's connect these two roads. I would also like to see a connection to the highway, but this is going to be more difficult and probably not what I want in the beginning. I actually first want to observe the behavior of the vehicles a little bit. Maybe they take the train station, maybe they take the highway. I want to know what and why they tend to do it. And so I think until I know what I want to do, I'm just going to make this a two-way. And then we're going to connect the two highways like so. Um, actually with a two-way either. Yeah, that's not a two-way. Two-way all the way here and there. So they can go everywhere and make use of this industry. We also want to go into the warehouse section and then set up an area with warehouses, which is probably going to be nearby this place. We'll have to see. For now, let's unpause the game, see what happens here. Not enough special goods. Yeah, this is going to be delivered soon. You know, I'm guessing eventually we're going to move these factories and then place warehouses with the products that they need and maybe even with the output product. I totally forgot that they also require water and power. Oops. Uh, that is... <laughs> that is a funny behavior. I mean, I knew this would pose a problem, but I did not expect them to really do that. I mean, it's temporary, but I believe one fix we can do is upgrade this. Let me see. I first have to get rid of that. We upgrade this to, like, six lanes. So now we have three arrows pointing into the straight direction. And in case somebody wants to traverse from over here, I'm just going to add a little one way there. Yeah, now everything should be reachable again. Yes, there we go. That is looking much better. This was already getting a little bit out of hand. Yes, there we go. That seems to be working much better. I think we can even improve on the situation by upgrading a bit more. Can I? Uh, come on. Or maybe less. If they come from two lanes, they can easier distribute, right? Okay, looks like we already have a little bit of traffic here. Obviously, this connection, I knew this would be a problem for some trucks. But we'll have to see where exactly they're coming from. I'm gonna make exceptions for the forestry industry, but then all of the ores should be coming in through the train station, hopefully. At the moment, we are exporting frequently, from the looks of it. Yeah, we should now think about another layout. I'm gonna do that with the unique factory and then a couple of warehouses to hold the ingredients. 
I've been observing this for a couple of minutes. Everything seems to be working since we don't have that many factories. The traffic isn't that bad, obviously, apart from this squished together situation there. Anyhow, I would suggest to now start dividing things up a little bit. I probably want a whole bunch of side roads. Yeah, actually, that might not be a bad idea. Let me move this factory out of the way. Yeah, look at that. I actually got it right from the start. So I want to leave at least four little squares free before the factory comes and then we are going to set up a bunch of storages. We're going to need plain timber and paper for this one. We have the possibility to set up extremely huge storages or small ones depending on our needs. Now, do I just want to go for the big ones? It's 750,000 capacity versus 400, 250 and 100. Considering we're making about 30k a week at the moment, I'm just gonna go with the big warehouses. Why the heck not? Wait. We might also want a warehouse for the furniture. So what about having one large warehouse for the end product? Actually, let me pause the game. And then we're gonna have two warehouses for the inbound products. So I believe I can switch this. Can I switch it to the furniture? No, actually not. It's all categorized as unique factory products. This means I would like this to be in a separate area. My suggestion would be to move the train station a little bit and set up the storage area here. I think that is a good idea. You're gonna move. Let's see just how much space we need. This is a dead-end train area. I can set up the warehouse as close as this to the road. And this one is going to be for... Um, yeah, let's keep it balanced. And then we want the unique factory products. As a matter of fact, eventually we might want two of them. Yeah, let me leave even more space. But then the buffer is getting smaller. This is not good. I would like to have a buffer of at least two trains. In this case, I'm gonna forget about this. The train station is gonna go here and we're gonna connect the rails. That's gonna be good. If you want to set up more warehouses for unique factories, we can do that somewhere else. But one close to the cargo station, I think, is a nifty idea. In this case, we're gonna go with the 400,000 capacity warehouses for the incoming products. Plain timber and paper. So we wanna change that to those products. And we're gonna try to keep all the storages balanced. So everything that we have too much of is gonna be sold. Then gonna move the next factory and we're gonna do the same thing here for this one. So a road right next to it. I believe this is just enough space for the warehouse as well. I wanna move this over here, then set up two warehouses. Actually, I might want to move these. I'm spending so much money just planning things out, but we might want to leave a little bit of space. Also, this way we can actually make it more symmetrical. So two more warehouses here. Oh, actually we need three for this one. Paper, plain timber and plastics, all of which we have. And uh, plastics, there we go. Collecting all the materials. Next up, we have the household factory with just two products. Hmm, we might actually want to set up two factories here for each road. In this case, I'm gonna add two more warehouses. Then we want to leave a little bit of space. Do we though? Probably. Uh, why not? Yeah, let's leave a little bit of space. So this factory needs petroleum and plastics. Petroleum and plastics. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty niftily organized now. We probably need another road here. Now let's see, this also requires two products. I would like to keep it at four warehouses for now. So I'm gonna start the new factory right here. This one requires paper and plastics. Oh, I did not leave enough space for that. And we do not really want to go with a different type of warehouse, right? I want this to be quite industrially. So all we have to do is move this down slightly. No problem. And now we have the space for a couple of warehouses. I forgot again. Paper and plastic. Okay, nice. I think I can actually live with that. Uh, they cannot live without water. And now all of these warehouses should slowly be filled up. We should actually see now more train traffic, maybe also more truck traffic. And then eventually we are also filling up the unique factory products. I now want to see this happen. Oh, I think something just got delivered there. Yeah, 18 tons. Nothing to brag about just yet. Our weekly budget went down a little bit, but as soon as everything is balanced and we are starting to export again, this should go up. Now, we probably want to take care of this disaster. This is just unbearable. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna need a lot more space for the larger unique factories in the end, so we will have to expand over to here, and I want to keep everything else kind of out of the way. So in this case, I'm actually tempted to either tunnel the highway or the train. We also need to unlock this tile in order to get the entire situation under control. 
Well, the first thing I want to see now is all of these warehouses being filled up. Some of them are already receiving the products. And then technically we could increase production rates, but I'm not sure what this is really gonna do. Why we would want to increase that or why not? I'm guessing if we have too many resources somewhere, we can start to increase the production with said unique factory. Alright, my suggestion would be until we can actually afford this tile to do this slightly differently. Usually I don't wanna tunnel trains, but I am kind of forced in this scenario. And once we can unlock another tile, I'm gonna redesign this section. But for now, all I want is to tunnel beneath everything here with the trains and we're actually gonna go straight into this intersection here. Uh, let's see, maybe it's not even possible. Yeah, there are two nodes really close together. And then we're gonna do the same thing from the other side. Just hook these guys up here. This should leave the trains more than enough space. We're also gonna get rid of that and yeah, all of that. I don't want it anymore. Instead, we're gonna make a bunch of sneaky connections temporarily to the highway. For instance, we can go straight beneath the highway now and actually hook this up. So both highway directions outbound are already covered. We can have another connection right here going into this road. Actually, that's a stupid idea. I rather do it from here. Makes more sense. It does look ugly, but again, don't worry. We should also be able to add a connection here. That's gonna help. And last but not least, I'm gonna add a connection here. And now they have quick access to everything. If we unpause now, this should immediately clear up again. And then we have all the cars going down here. Obviously, this is one crazy interchange now that we'll have to redesign. Fortunately enough, we have some space to work with. Now, there's another problem with the cargo station here. And I wonder if I can improve on that a little bit by changing how they come into the station. So let's say they have to take a little curve here. We're gonna make this a tiny bit curvier so they come in from a steeper angle. And also the exit, we're gonna do something like that. I know, this actually looks crazy, but let's just unpause, see if it did help a little bit. Yeah, they're going into the cargo station smoother, but it could be improved even more. I mean, the road looks ugly, so this is not really the solution. Let's undo that. Actually, maybe I shouldn't worry too much. That was just the initial filling up of the warehouses, I presume. Yeah, look at that. Also more unique factory products that we can sell. Currently we're making 40k weekly income. We can even check for each factory. This one is making money, making money, making money. Good stuff. Yeah, the budget is actually all over the place. Right now we drop down to 20k again, but as long as we're earning money, I'm pretty happy. Okay, so far so good. We are storing a couple of materials, some of which we don't have enough, but I have to observe this for a little bit more. It seems like we could maybe produce a bit more plastics. The oil industry is producing the plastics and I totally forgot that we still need a train connection over here as well. So that's what we should set up. At the moment the train is going along here. I would like to keep it that way. So we're probably gonna continue it here and just go across. I'm gonna build a one-way industry road here where we're gonna set up the train station. Another cargo terminal right there. Let's continue the rails. For now it probably doesn't matter how we do it. Let's just move it across here, that's good. Slight curve and elevation at the end. We're gonna build a bridge, move back down and over to the train station. This just needs some fixing here with the power. So now the oil products can actually be brought over using the train station. We just need to connect this. Do a little swoop de swoop like so. One more thing I would like to do here is actually make this a district. We're gonna expand on that as needed and we're gonna make a specialization out of it. So this is gonna be an oil industry and actually let me make the district larger. I want it to expand a little bit into areas where we don't actually have access to oil. So for instance right over here we can have a couple of buildings and if I now go ahead and zone industry here, let's do that. Let me be precise about this. Wanna leave a little bit of rows free. So we are gonna set up industry here and we're gonna set up industry there. Make sure this is, yes, inside of our industry specialization. This is an easy way to actually complement the industry you have already going on. This is possible for all the industries. And if we have enough demand, we should see some things popping up. Wherever there are resources, there's the possibility to get more oil producing buildings. And then secondly, where there are no resources, they're gonna be 
production buildings. So yeah, you can see here we are starting to pump more and more oil. This is just gonna complement the industry and you don't only have to build the same buildings over and over in order to make the industry grow. We still have no problem with the petroleum, but we do have problem with plastics. Let's see if that improves with the changes. And then since we built new industry buildings, there is more traffic than usual. This is gonna clear up in just a second. I was lying, it did not actually clear up in a second. It is still not good. However, the flow of traffic is now dictated by a one-way roundabout system. And this way at least it functions and we are producing some stuff. I also set up some more warehouses in order to store the plastic. You can see it is now being stored in here. And then we can use the cargo station in order to bring it all the way over to the new industry. And right here, I still don't see a lot of plastic, but it has improved. We are storing quite a few tons of unique factory goods and we're still making good money. So I'm gonna keep observing that for a little bit. And then, as I said, I might make shorter episodes and keep them coming a bit more frequently. Otherwise, at the moment, I simply cannot manage. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching and your understanding. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.